talked lots about this, about making sure we make them defend as much as possible. Let's make them defend, keep the puck in there. And the best way to do that is first, you got to get back in your own zone. You got to have five connect, you got to have your stick up the ice. We got to make sure we're skating and then skating out of our end. No turnovers tonight, pucks behind. Take a look at the starting lineups for this one. Tom McCullum, seven and one in the last eight games. His counterpart will be Jacob Markstrom, who has a goals against average of 1.85 in these playoffs. As you mentioned, Dylan Larkin making his pro debut tonight. Paired up with Andreas Anthony. See you and he scored! And Comets on a terrible angle. Really here one to nothing. Game one of the best of seven. And the Comets busting into the Grand Rapids zone. A shot and they score. Bertuzzi's angrily up front, Polkin and Page at the points. Face off to the right of Markstrom and controlled by the Griffins. Here's Page on the draw. In front, score! Mark Zangerly, what a play! As Nathan Page just set him up along the left side of the net. And from in tight, he redirects it off the heel of the stick and in behind Jacob Markstrom. And the Griffins just four seconds into that power play are on the board and now trail it two to one. The way they played, we had tons of rushes. Tons of rushes. We gotta execute on our rushes better. Lots of times, let's kick it early and drive. Kick it early and drive. We're trying to hold on to it, and make sauces over sticks. Kick it early, drive the net, have the scene pass, execute on the rushes. We got better here. We got better as the period went along here. We are underway here in the second period now. Comets with a two to one lead in the hockey game as the puck is sent into the Grand Rapids zone. And Picked up now by Mark Zengli. Left to right he goes across that line. Near side for Bertuzzi. Lifted it in front. Blocked to a rebound attempt. That one sailed just wide. I don't believe Markstrom ever saw it. As Offrey digs in. Wins the draw again. Here's Jensen. Letting a long wrist shot go. Deflected out of front. The save. Offrey trying to get at that rebound. <laughs> away. Big hit by Lashoff at the Griffin blue line. Christian Burton following up with a chance and a save and the rebound. Stopped again by Markstrom. Now on to center. Comets beat it to the near side. Hamilton with four seconds to go in the period. Can't get around with that. That's going to do it for period number two here in Utica. I think we can spread the ozone out way more. We got to go east-west. Shots in that presence. Let's go in the hockey. Ready to go now with period number three. Gold tennis in place. Set up as the trigger man, as is Polkin, and at the top of the circle. Face off, controlled by Utica, they'll clear it, and they will win it. Two to one, the Comets take game one. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a loss. I think there's things we can build from. I think we learned a little bit tonight. We're going to have to apply that tomorrow. We're going to have to play better, but uh, credit to them, they played real good. Let's make sure we have an urgency and a singular focus here to win the hockey game tonight, boys. Let's go. Game two is underway, Western Conference Finals here at Memorial Auditorium in Utica. Winds up in the corner, here's Bertuzzi cutting right in front with a shot, hit the crossbar. Pass 
across, blocked, and now the Griffins with numbers the other way. Here's Mantha on right wing, and a great diving play by Sanguinetti. From behind, knocked it away. Griffins get it back in front, score! Dylan Larkin! 15 minutes into the opening period, he's got his first professional goal! up some room there to play the puck. Now the Comets give it away inside the line. Here's Polkin and pulling up with a shot block. Rebound Larkin fires in front. Score! Dylan Larkin's got two! And the Griffins have a 2-0 lead! Keep on the net. Keep the net present so we've got to keep winning all those battles. Let's keep going here. Let's go. The puck taken away by the Griffins. Walking right in front of what a recovery by Viega. Now Pokinen shot score! Power play goal by Timu Pokinen. His 14th of the postseason. The Griffins lead it three to nothing. Center on the near side, Polk it and knocked it down. Good play at the right point, holding it in for Mealy. Right in front now to Zangerly. On the doorstep, Bertuzzi shoots, scores! Tyler Bertuzzi put it right underneath Jacob Markstrom. It is 4 nothing in favor of the Griffins. Just continue with good F3 and reloads. Good F3 reloads. Let's play the game in their end. Let's make sure we're reloading back hard. Continue to track back hard, but let's play as much as we can in their end here, boys. Let's yep. go. Joachim Erickson has stepped between the pipes now for Uticas. They'll give Jacob Markstrom a period off after giving up the four goals on 16 shots. Now we're going to fight Grenier and drop the gloves in front with Brennan Evans. Evans and Grenier are going at it and Evans hits him with the right and knocks him to a knee. And then Grenier trying to get back in, but by that time the alignment had jumped in. Aubrey off the draw, so the third power play chance for the Comets. They block a pass now with Brent, they score. Brendan Gaunt's on the power play, make for the 4 1 game. Bumped by Marchenko, who got the puck free, but it rolled back to the line to Sanguinetti, and there goes Erickson again. The net to our left is empty. Sinks on four for the Comets, and they score. Side by McCullum. Now a feed across, blocked by out in front, and cleared the center ice, and that's going to seal it. 11 seconds to go, and back to play the puck. Sanguinetti is Conacher and Neely having exchanged the puck driven down the ice by Utica. Into the corner it goes, and a big hit on Page as the play goes on. The horn sounds to end the hockey game. Meanwhile, Zelensky down there throwing punches at anybody within range, and it looks like until game three, cooler heads will prevail. And indeed they will. The Griffins are going home for Game 3 on Thursday night. Tied up in the best of seven. Western Conference Final. One game apiece thanks to a 4-2 to win here in Utica tonight.